Hi, this is the 12th part of the video. The Nubian people, not only here in the West, but all over the world, have been put under a hypnotic spell. It is a spell of the dollar bill, also known as the spell of Leviathan, Kingu, the great seal of the United States, which was put on you in the 1600s AD, when the ruling class of slaves called Amir or Amir were brought here from North Africa. The spell was reinforced in 1983 AD. The spell is the reason why Nubians all over the world cannot unite. What happened, what has happened is, you, your people have been stripped completely of their abilities, qualifications, and their spiritual faculties, and placed in a spell of a state of materialism and discomfort. But just because you may reside in a particular country and speak its language does not entitle you to forsake your true name. We, the children of the Elohim, are solely concerned with providing the guidance and direction through the teachings of Dr. Malachi Zio. He came to break the spell, and the spell is being broken right now through right knowledge right wisdom and right understanding which leads to right thinking, nuavu, sound, right reasoning. The spell was cast on our people by Indri, also called Nodemun. He was jealous of his brother Enlil, son of Anu and Antum. He wanted the position of Enlil, also called Nunanir. However, Enlil was the son of Anu and his half-sister Antum, he became the leader or the legal successor according to Anunnaki's rules. This made Enki jealous of his brother Enlil. So, and so this started a conflict and rivalry between the two brothers. So Enki and Ishtar, daughter of Nanar, Sin, or Nana, and Ningal got together and planned a plan with the Evil reptilian Zuen, also called Anzu, Shachar, Humbaba, and Tarnush, to put a spell on the seal of Enlil. You Adamite Enosites. This spell was cast at the beginning of the first moon cycle, which occurred 6,000 years ago. The evil hypnotic spell was cast on you, upon Nubians, the original Melaninite children of the descendants descendants of the original woolly-haired beings, the deities bearing nine ether, nine to the ninth power of nine, the Anunnaki Elohim. Now Zuen was Enlil's gatekeeper. He guarded the Dirga, the sacred chamber where the seven tablets, the Akasha or Akastic records, the tablets of destinies, the scroll of all were kept. These tablets told of the coming of the elders. Zuen snuck into the chamber, the, sac the sacred chamber, while Enlil was bathing and stored the first writings and all the destinies therein. Thus he changed what was to happen. At that time, at that very moment, the earth was void and dark, and the Anunnaki Elohim became confused. Zuen gave the tablet to Enki, and together they conspired against his brother Enlil's and the descendants of the Adamites who are Canaanites and Enosites. Little did Enki know that the conniving Zuen deceived him and cast the spell on his Enki seed also. Ninurta was, was the son of Enlil, was the only Anunnaki brave enough to go against the Zuen. When the Anunnaki had come together for a meeting to decide how they would get the tablets from Zuen, none of them wanted to fight against Zuen. So Enki decided to send Ninurta to do battle with Zuen. Ninurta took the assignment and defeated Zuen on the mountain of Hihi, where Zuen went in, off into hiding. Ninurta, with the help of Sharur, succeeded in his battle with Zuen and took the Tablets of Destinies back to where they belonged. This made all the Anunnaki very happy and Ninurta 
whose wife is Bahu Ogula, received the title Superb Ninurta. Ninurta fell in rank with his father Enlil and the title 50. Twelve of the Anunnaki have a rank. Anu is the highest of all ranks, which is the number 60. Enlil is 50. Inki is 40. Nanar is 30. Shamash, whose wife is Aya, is 20. Adar, whose wife is Shela, is 10. And its six multiples within the prime number 60 were thus assigned to the male deities. And the numbers ending with five were assigned to the female deities, like Antu, 55, Miletu or Ninlil, 45, Ninkai, 35, Ningal, 25, Ishtar, 15, and Ninti, 5. Murduk, whose wife is Sarvanit, son of Enki and Damkina, had no rank because he was not the son of a direct descendant. Whereas Ninurta was the son of Enlil and his half-sister Mililtu, who, was, who also used the title of Ninlil, Lady of the Heavens, at one time. When Morduk defeated Tiamat in the battle, all the Anunnaki had to bestow on him 50 names, and that signified that the rank of 50 had become his also. They told Murduk in the Holy Tablets, chapter 4, tablet 3, verses 35 to 63, and I quote, You are honored among the Anunnaki. Your destiny is unequal. Your word has the power of Anu. From this day onward, your command shall not be altered. Yours is the power to exalt and to abase. May your utterance be law and your word never be falsified. None of the Anunnaki shall transgress your limits. May endowment required for the Anunnaki's shrines wherever they have temples be established for your place. O Murduk, you are our champion. We have we hereby give you sovereignty over all of the whole universe. Sit in the assembly and your word shall be preeminent. May your weapons never miss the mark and may they smash your enemies. O Murdu, spare the life of him who trusts in you, but drain the life of the beings who have, who have exposed evil. They set up in, the midst, in their midst and that, in, of that one constellation, and then they address Murdu, their son. May your decree, O Murdu, impress the Anunnaki, command to destroy and to recreate, and let it be so. Speak and let the constellations vanish. Speak to it again, and the constellation was recreated. When the Anunnaki, his fathers, saw how effective his utterance was, they rejoiced and proclaimed, Murduk is ruler. They invested him with the scepter, throne, and staff of office. They gave him an unfaceable weapon to crush the foe. Go cut off the life of the inhabitants of Tiamat. Let the winds bear her blood to us as good news. The Anunnaki, his fathers, thus decreed the destiny of Morduk and set, set him on the path of peace and obedience. Unquote. Now, some of you may probably be thinking, well, you cannot just randomly link Morduk and Dr. Malachi to York. They are two different beings with different accomplishments and stations. Okay. However, in Holy Tablets chapter 19, tablet 6, verses 90 through 93, Morduk states, and I quote, So I arrived in the lunar logging of the 17th point in September of the same year, 1945, to a galactic meeting held on Earth. And on the child's 25th birthday, which was in the lunar logging of the 26th point 
of June in, on June when the planet Earth positioned itself in the location of the revolution of Earth year 1917 of the Gregorian calendar. When I made direct contact and planted my total self into his being, unquote. Are you listening? So there is no way in hell that any mortal could capture Murdoch, who is ranked 50 in the great galaxy, the 19th galaxy, 19th galaxy Ilium. Rank 50 is one step away from Anu, Alun Alun El, the creator of the heavens and the earth, who is ranked 60. In real life, the physical presence of these beings have a perplexing, stupendous effect on mortals due to their very much higher rate of vibration. Just look at their eyes, how they just seem to stare right into, through you, and follow you around. So, the spell of Leviathan has caused you to be mentally blind, deaf, and dumb to the evil reptilian's deceptions. As a result, you wander aimlessly along the path of self-destruction, imitating pale people, white people, who teach you to love the world and the things of this world. As Johanna, John the son of Zebedee, said after the manner of Yeshua HaMashiach, or Israel El Masih, or Jesus the Messiah Christ, in 1 John 2.15, Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world, if any man loves the world, the love of the Father is not in him. Shaitan, Satan tries to make you think that he does not really exist by portraying himself as a man-like character with two horns, a tail, and a pitchfork, dressed in red like the figure on the hot sauce bottle. You've seen him on the throne in hell or tormenting lost souls on, in cartoons. In reality, Shaitan Satan is in the pathway of the righteous to take you off the path of Alun 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 Al Al El, the Most High. His aim is to erase the memory of Anu Alun Alun Al El, the Most High, from your life. Since he has fallen from the pit, or since he has risen from the pit in 1966-80, he has opened the doors of hell. The evil reptilian is coming at you stronger because he knows his 6,000 years are up as of September 9, 1999, which is actually 2003, 80, within the Gregorian calendar. The evil reptilian always preys on your soul, hoping that you do not remember Anu Alun Alun El, the Most High. He once spoke to you of a time ever forgotten. The time is being called now. I have spoken to you about this, yet you refuse to listen to the words that proceeded from my lips. I told you a long time ago I came giving you what you wanted, so you would learn to want what I have to give. Now is the time I give you this. Take my warnings, take my wisdom, and most of all, take my strength as it flows from me, hear my words. My words are that it is that evil malevolent being, that Luciferian who cast this evil hypnotic spell of Leviathan Kingu upon you. The spell of sleep, of spiritual ignorance and racial blindness. When you, Kadman, Zakaz, or Adam Seed, the Adamites began to worship Shaitan, he became known as Tariya which means one who transgresses the limits. He succeeds in doing this by making Kadmon's seed become mushrik, idol worshippers, or ones who binds partners with the creator of the original light, who is Anu Alun Alun El, the Most High. Then Satan changed from light to fire. His nature changed also to Iblis or Baluth, he is also called, he was called also because he was desperate for the mercy of Anu Alun Alun El the Most High. 
This name Iblis comes from the root Balasa, which means to grieve or to be saddened. Stands from the word Ablasa. He despaired or he gave up hope. He fell from grace, the grace of Anu, Alun, Alun, El, the Most High. This definition symbolizes the very essence of his whole nature. And that is of disruption and confusion. The angelic being Elohim, Morduk, Melchizedek, son of Inki and Damkina, also known as Ninki. In the Sumerian doctrine, the grandson of Anu, who is considered a warrior and companion of El Elo, the ruler captured Samael, Iblis, Diabolus, so he could study under Melchizedek. His Diabolus appearance was magnificent and he was extremely learned. As Azazel matured, he continuously excelled in every field of endeavor. Samael, Iblis, Diabolus was educated among the angelic beings. Although he was young, all the angelic beings, Elohim, recognized his great intellect. He was never an agreeable angelic being, but was given the opportunity to sit in their midst. However, he failed in that also. This is why he is called a fallen angel. Samael, Iblis, Diabolus was not the first fallen angel and was certainly not the last. When Samael was cast from the heavens or Malakut to earth, there were 200 fallen angels that were cast down with him. When Lucifer fell, he fell into a pit. This event is stated in the Holy Bible, Revelation 9, 1, when it states, and the fifth angel sounded, and I saw a star fall from heaven unto earth, and to him was given the key of the bottomless pit. It is also recounted in the holy tablets of the Sumerians. Holy tablets, chapter Behemao, the, holy, the, the human beast, chapter 6, the whisperer. Tablet 6, verses 595 to 596. When Americans sing the Star Spangled Banner, the United States National Anthem, they are singing about Samael, Iblis, Diabolus, who is also known as Azazel. Oh say can you see by the dawn's early light? When you look in the Bible at Isaiah 14, 12, we see the dawn's early light as the morning. It states, How art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning? How art thou fallen down to the ground, which didn't weaken the nations? When you look at the Hebrew 